the searching is a technique we are looking for a presence of a key in the given list whatever the size of the list it takes only one step or only one comparison to find out the whether is present or not in the given list through hash function everything we are writing as none so this is an empty hash table there are chances of more than one element in a given list will be having the same hash value in the table dear students welcome to computer science classes i am ravi kumar kr lecturer in computer science vidyasham priya college temple of excellence mysuru students let us start our discussion with the chapter searching so in this session we are going to talk about searching by hashing it is one of the technique in searching now let us start with the definition what is hashing so hashing is a technique which can be used to know the presence of a key in a list just in one step see actually the searching is a technique we are looking for a presence of a key in the given list so but here hash key is a one more technique or an one more algorithm where it is possible to know the presence of an element or a key element in only one step that is the advantage of this hashing so hashing is a technique it is possible to find out the given element in one step so a formula called hash function is used to calculate the value at an index in the list so here we are using one more concept called hash function so in hash function with the help of hash function we are going to calculate the value at an index in the given list now this a hash function takes an element of a list one by one and generates an index value for every element so this will generate a new list called hash table so according to this algorithm or a technique so this is the given list and apart from this by using a hash function is going to create one more table that is called hash table so what is hash table so it is generated with the hash function so here takes elements of a list one by one so we have to consider the elements of a list one by one and we are generating an index value for every element in the given list so that value we are going to place in a separate table that is called hash table so this is the concept here one is a hash technique it is an algorithm or a technique where it is possible to find out the given element or search for an element in one step or in easy step second one is we are using a hash function to generate a hash table so what is hash table it consists of it consists of a, an index value for each and every element in the given list so this is the definition of hash function or hash technique in searching here each index of a hash table can hold only one item and the positions are indexed by integer value starting from 0 note that the size of the hash table can be larger than the size of the list so obviously in a given list no we know that always the index starts with 0 it is an integer value so index of a list starts with an integer value it is start with 0 so here the size of the hash table because the hash function is going to generate a hash table or hash technique it going to generate a hash table that would be larger than the size of the given list a simple hash function that works with numeric value is known as reminder method so here we are using integers so it is known as reminder method so what is the hash function formula see this is the hash value is possible to find out by the given element in the given list and percentage means we have to find the remainder of the division by size of the hash table by size size of the hash table so this is how to find out the hash value of a given element in the given list in the next slide let us see an example here now so here 
this is the given and this is the numbers are given in the list. So this is the given a one list in an example. So here first we are writing an empty hash table where see we have to find out the hash table by with the help of the elements in the given list. So here we are preparing the index or a position and the value at the beginning in this example we have taken 10 elements in the hash table. So this is there are nine positions means starting with zero there are 10 elements or 10 index value in this hash table. So then at the beginning as we have not found out any of the key values or hash values through hash function everything we are writing as none. So this is an empty hash table. In the next slide we will see how to find out the hash element or the value for each and every element of the given list. So in the example if you observe this the first element is 34, 16, 2, 93, 80, 77 and 51. So first we will start with 34, next 16 and it goes on like this. So first value is 34 and here 34 is the given element divided by our percentage means modulus operator by 10. So because why is a 10 here because the size of the hash table is we have taken it as 10. So in this example size of the hash table is 10. So but the size of the given list here there are only 7 elements. The size of the list is 7 but size of the hash table we have taken in the example is 10. So this is we are dividing it by 10. So once you divide 34 percentage 10 quotient is 4 and here quotient is 3 and remainder is 4. Similarly second element 16 the remainder is 6 and for this remainder is 2 and for this remainder is 3. Similarly 0, 7 and 1. These are the remainder after finding the hash function through hash function formula. So this is a hash table, these are the element and these are the index value for each and every element of the given list. So this is we are preparing with the help of hash function for each and every element of the given list. And please make a note of it here. The size is 7 but here we are using the hash table with the 10 positions. So we are dividing it by 10. So next what is the next step now? After computing the hash values here 4, 6, 2, 3, 0, 7 and 1 are our hash values of respective elements in the given list. So each element is inserted at its designated position in the hash table shown in the table. So in the next one we will see, see here as we have seen this is a table and here we are inserting the element at its position. For example, see in the 34 if you look at 34, 34 the index value is 4 or hash value is 4. So the 34 has to be placed in the index 4. So accordingly see in the index 4 I mean the hash value of 4 we are placing 34. Similarly this 16 should be in the place of 6. So 16 should be in the place of 6. 16 is in the place of 6 and 2 in the place of 2 this 2 in the place of 2. So accordingly we are going to place all these elements with respect to their hash values in the hash table. This is the one. And here 5 none and 8 none and 9 are none here because we have taken the size of the hash table as 10. And other values have the other elements will be having its hash value in this table. Now what is the next step here? Next step is to search for a key, we can calculate its index using the hash function and compare the element at the index with the key to declare whether the element is present in the list or not. So what is the next step here is once the table has been created, hash table has been created, next we have to look for the element to be searched for. So once if the element to be searched for or the key element we have to find out the hash value, hash index of the particular element. Then that index we have to compare with 
the index in the table. If those two are equal, then we, we can declare that element is present. If those two are not equal, then element is not present. And here in this example, this search function involves only one comparison. So here we are comparing only once because we have to find out the hash function of the key element and that value we are going to compare with this index if both the values are same, it is element is present. So here it works with only, only one comparison. So this is only one comparison. Hence the same amount of time is always required to search a key irrespective of size of the list. So here this is it, the time taken to search for an element is very minimum. So it, that is an advantage of this hash algorithm or search by hashing. So here irrespective of size of the list. Whatever the size of the list, it takes only one step or only one comparison to find out the whether it is present or not in the given list. In the next slide, we will see an example here. So here the hash table generated for the element given in the table. See these are the hash table. This is already a generated hash table for particular values in the given list here. Now. I want to search for the key element 93. Now let us take an example now. Now the key element or the key is 33. I would like to search for a value 93 in the given list. So what is the procedure as per the hash function or the hash algorithm? So 93 is the given element is percentage 10. Means this is a modulus operator. We have to find the remainder of the this division. So here 93 by 10 the remainder is 3. Remainder is 3. So this is the hash function or hash value. Next one is we have to compare this with the element 3. So here we have to search for the element 93 is 93. Compare here 93 is equivalent to element at the index 3. So here remainder is 3. We are comparing through the hash table the value at the index 3. Here is 93. So value at the index 3 here is 93 93 is equal to 93 so both are then we can say that 93 is present at the index 3 or position 4 see this is a one step algorithm or we can say it is possible to find out the given element with only one comparison here we are doing only one comparison so this is one example for search by hashing so in this one 93 Remainder is 3, comparing the given 93 with the value at the index 3. In this example 93, both are same. So we have to say that element is present at the index 3. Now in the next slide, we will see one more example. Now in this example, this is already a prepared or generated hash table. So accordingly, now next one is a key element is 86. Means I would like to search for the element 86 in the given list. So if you look at the list 86, here no value is going to match with the 86. So actually we can expect that element is not present or element is not found or search is unsuccessful. Now let us apply the hash function formula. So here 86 is a key element. Now 86 percentage 10 means divide this by 10. As I told you 10 is the size of the hash table what you have taken in the example as 10 86 and the remainder is 6 remainder is 6 now compare this 86 with the element at the index 6 so at the index 6 and the index 6 element is 16 so element is 16 so i'm comparing 86 and 16 both are not equal so then we have to come to a conclusion that 86 is not present in the given list. So even in this case also, we are going to take only one step or only we will take only one comparison. So after we declaring this, we are not going for any further comparison with some other elements or with other index or hash values. So this is an hash algorithm or search by hashing where element can be found out in the given list by only with one comparison. That too with the help of hash table which are generated by using hash function.
in the next slide we will see next one more concept is collision what is collision now the hashing technique works fine if each element of the list maps to a unique location in the hash table so now what is the concept of collision here now if you talk about hash techniques according to this each and every element of a list will be having only one value or one hash value in the given table while applying the hash function say for list of i percentage 10 if the two elements would be have has a same hash value this situation is called collision in hashing so what is the collision here if we try to find out the hash value of particular element in the given list so sometimes it is possible that the more than two elements or more than one element will be having the same hash value if that is the situation the situation is called as collision in hashing so what is collision here so it is there are chances of more than one element in a given list will be having the same hash value in the table but according to the list here in each and every element in a list will be having only one index value or only one position so this situation is called collision now let us consider one more example here say consider a list here this is the given list here now in this function if you want to find out a element from the given list so first we are going to create a hash table through hash function so while creating a table we are dividing the element by 10 10 is the size of the table and here in this 16 percent 10 you example like you take 16 percentage 10 the remainder is 6 means the 16 is an element it has it will be in the position sixth index of the hash table at the same time you take one more element 26 so well 26 26 percentage 10 again the remainder is 6 again as per the hash table so even 26 has to occupy the index 6 so here in this situation is called collision in hashing where element 16 and 26 will result in same hash value so theoretically speaking we cannot replace two elements in the same index or the in the same list see so this situation is called collision in hashing in the next slide see we must have a mechanism for placing other items with the same hash value in the hash table this process is called collision resolution you know what is collision suppose if there is a situation like collision how to overcome this or how to solve or how to get the element in those situations then we are using a mechanism called collision resolution so what is collision resolution so here it is a mechanism it is a mechanism for placing the other items with the same hash value in a hash table so as we have seen in the previous slide in this example two elements will be having the same hash value so what is collision resolution so there might be a mechanism there must be a mechanism where so we have to place both the elements of the same hash value in a table in a hash table that is the mechanism of collision resolution now a perfect hash function maps every input key to a unique index in a hash table next one is you know what is a hash function now what is perfect hash function so what is it so it maps every input key to a unique index in the hash table so in a perfect hash function so each and every element of a given list will be placed will place a unique index in the table in the hash table that is perfect hash function if the hash function is perfect collision will never occur students so far in this session we have discussed about searching by hashing it is one of the technique or algorithm let us continue our discussion in my next session thank you very much